Hey guys, it's your Blue Line Group with your Blue Line Wife's podcast. <laughs> Roll Call Roll Podcast. Call. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's do this over. <laughs> hey guys, it's your Blue Line Group with your Blue Line Wife's Roll Call Podcast. I'm Shannon Gilbert with Emer Drill Estate. I'm Jamie Wright with Wright Dalbo Insurance. And I'm Amy Lewis with Priority Mortgage. <laughs> and we are missing Tracy today. We are she missing Tracy. Make it. She'll be back next week, yep. though. We have two special guests in the house today from Get Behind the Badge. We have Stacy and Budge. Welcome. All right, thank we you. are excited to have you. Excited to be here. And I get to add to my bloopers. Usually it's Jamie. Yeah, I know. Bloops. I was just going to say that. I'm so happy that it's not <laughs> me today. <laughs> but but you can tell them why we're here. Yeah. Yeah. For those of you that don't know who we are, we are a dedicated team of law enforcement families specializing in real estate, lending, title, and insurance services, fervent about creating ongoing professional relationships and giving back to our first responder families. Yes. Yes. So welcome, guys. How was everybody's week? Let me think about that. I'm just trying to get over today oh. was the first day of school. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to get back into the zone. But yeah, yeah. it was it was great. Great. It's my summer just began today. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of thinking, we'll have to talk later about that, but I was kind of thinking, does school begin? Is that the beginning of our life or the end of our life? Yes. <laughs> we don't start till next week. And I was oh, just, the whole week. I was just thinking today, like, oh man, I gotta get up like real early, because mm-hmm. uh-huh. I, you know, because us mothers have to get ready before everybody else gets up in the morning, right? So five a.m. Yeah. rise and shine. Yeah. Mm. So that was one thing. That was one takeaway from my summer was the mornings were a little bit more lax. Mm-hmm. So this is my first summer with the two. I have two. I have a one-year-old. Oh. And a seven, almost seven year old. So this was my first year at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, this, and, and it was an actual summer because he just had kindergarten. Mm. So Aww. there was mm. a lot of learning. Oh, this so he's summer. all day this coming year. Oh, he was all, all day. day last. He was all day preschool. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah that nice. is nice. Well, that's, you know, when you work. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So welcome, guys. Okay, we are you. so glad to have you. If you can just tell our viewers about a little bit about your organization, just kind of give them a. I'll yeah, let you, sure. get, you introduce well, yourselves <laughs> yeah, and tell please. us a little bit about <laughs> what you do. <laughs> yes. Uh, Don't I'm be Bu- shy. I'm Butch at Richardson. I'm a Delaware County liaison for Get Behind the Badge. Uh, what we do is we are an organization that are there for our first responders, that be police or fire or uh, any anybody that's a first responder. We're there, in the un- unfortunately, in the line of duty death. Uh, we would be there immediately with a, a $5,000 amount of money just to try to help them get through those first couple weeks. We're also there f- uh, after that for any um, fundraisers type things that we can do for the family just to help them get through. So you're the Delaware County area? I, I, I deal with the Delaware County li- uh, area, yes. Do you have different liaisons for different counties? That's what our attempt is. Okay. We would love to have more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So if somebody's interesting. Huh? Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, I mean, that there's a Delaware County liaison that we have some ones, someone for Licking County and is there, what's the other one? Knox, maybe? Uh, but there are five adjacent counties, so some of us are having to do some double duty. Yeah. So it would be nice if anybody <coughs> out there would be interested in helping out. So what is it right. that they would be doing? Attending meetings, helping us out with our fundraisers, just kind of having their finger on the pulse in their community and their, in, their, in their county, be in contact with the, the local law enforcement mm-hmm. agencies within that county. And they don't have to be affiliated with law enforcement. They no, just need to no, be okay. No, no. We actually would be honest with you. We would love to see more people that are not necessarily mm-hmm. affiliated. Just with from the community. Okay. Somebody with a big heart wanting to give back. Mm-hmm. Right, right. I mean, you know, parents, grandparents uh, sometimes are the best. Unfortunately, with, with, the, with the actual LEOs that we have and the uh, fire that we have, the, with their schedules, it's hard for us to do things. Oh, yeah. Because they are some crazy schedules. So how long have you been with Get Behind the Badge? Uh, this is actually on the board. This is my first year. Oh. I've been, uh, my wife was a board member for two years ahead of this, and I've always kind of been in the background just helping. Mm-hmm. And this year I decided to kind of take the position. She originally was a Delaware County liaison, and I just kind of pushed her out of that position. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, sure. she's the strong woman behind the strong man. That's right. <laughs> now, Stacy, yeah. what is your title? I am the vice president of Get Behind Badge. Oh, wow. So how long have you been this um, year, first year? This is actually my second year coming into it, but my first year I was planning coordinator, 
like the organization side of the whole thing because it was a little chaos. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I would be so Jamie. So you you know everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody knows. Somebody. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so and then in January I got voted in as vice president. Oh wow, that's awesome! Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank yes, you very much. For sure. So how many fundraisers a year do you guys typically do? We do as many as <clears> necessary. <throat> So do you wait, obviously, until somebody reaches out to you, or do you already have some set up what, throughout we, the year? We have some set up. We have our, our annual golf outing that we do. We have uh, a Terry McDowell poker run, which is coming up. Uh, that's pretty those much. Are two, those are two. two of our main ones that we do that's for our organization. That's how we t try to put some of our funding in. Uh, then as far as the actual fundraisers we do for if, uh, an illness or an injury of a family mm -hmm. member or, or the LEOs or first responders. So if somebody wants to go off on a golf outing, how would they? Do you guys have a website? Yes. yes. Where they could just get on the website? Yes, it's um, getbehindthebadge.org. That's easy. Yeah. Good. Dot, dot org. Yes. Yeah. Dot it's org. It's not <laughs> dot com. Yeah. Dot, yeah. No, dot um, org. So when we did the golf outing in June, we launched it on social media and stuff like that. And people can literally just click a link, go register their team, register a sponsor, anything. And it oh, wow. like. Even on Facebook? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very convenient. Very yes. simple. Yeah. It's, we've tried to make it as simple as possible because there's a lot of people that, like, I want the easiest way to do this. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're, like, trying to do it simple and easy. And when's his golf outing? When's the Terry McDowell? Uh, oh. It's Terry McDowell poker run. Poker that's, run. That's in... That's next Saturday. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Oh, wow. That fast. Is there still time to register? Yes. yes. Okay. We will actually reg ha take registration up until the day of. Yes. Awesome. All right. Get your registrations yes. in. Yes. Help out for sure. Now, um, I lost my train of thought. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> tell us what exactly what that they would be helping out with. Like, what does their contribution or donation go towards um, specifically? Which kind of, like in the poker run? Yeah, sure. Well, that, that allows us to have the capability of the $5,000 in the event of a line okay. of duty. And just our operating, which is very minimal, uh, because we are 100% all the profits that we make go into the organization. We have absolutely no paid personnel whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets a dime from this organization other than the first responders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so anything, any money we collect will go into the, the general account, general mm -hmm. fund for that. So any mm -hmm. critical incident whatsoever, you guys are there supporting? If it's a line of duty death, we, we try to get somebody and get the money right away. As far as the, the illness, illnesses or injuries or that kind of thing, we kind of set back and mm -hmm. let somebody, we'll, we'll, we'll get a hold of whoever we find when we find out, like if they have a spokesperson sure. mm -hmm. or, or, or a contact person, that we'll get a hold of them because we try to respect the family. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't jump in and we're not... We're not we want we want to make sure people realize that we are up and up and we're, we're mm -hmm. who we are we say we are right so right. you'll reach out and then wait for them to right. to give right. you the okay and the go ahead yeah. and I mean we have a couple uh, there's a couple situations in Delaware County that we're waiting for the for the family to decide mm -hmm. when they want us to do the fundraiser sure. and then before we started Stacy had mentioned that you guys even do meals yes yes so for instance we just had the state the state highway patrol trooper get critically injured and his family was staying around the clock at the hospital. We all have been there. The hospital meals are not the best. <laughs> right. So the as our get behind the badge board, we all decided on a Sunday morning, we need to take fam food to these families. So we honestly got with the, some of our businesses and said, hey, we're going to do this. And we took hot meals up, like hot pastas and things like that. So we were able to do that. I'm sure they were very grateful mm -hmm. for that, too. They were a very pleasant, like, a great family to be with. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the, the small time. things yes. that make the biggest difference. Absolutely. Well, and that's what most people, I think, don't realize, and, and I, I've always said this, that when, when, when those first responders go to work in the morning, there's a mom, there's a dad, there's a wife, there's a child standing behind them, hoping they come back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and unfortunately, sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're there to try to help that family through that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How and do you stay calm? Pardon? How do you stay calm? Like, how do you hold your composure I going don't. into that? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I would I'm be the, there. I, I'm the six foot two, 280 <laughs> pound babbling idiot that you yeah. understand. Right? So I know. Oh I'd God. be like, can I hug you? Well, right. and, you know, and, and as a dad, I mean, my, both of my boys are first responders. And then as a dad, I'm, I look in that dad's eyes. Right. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah. And I think that's too, like what uh, police wives, that's why we're also kind of tight knit too. It's, 
we get it. You yeah. know, we, we feel each other's pain, so to speak. And it might not be exactly the same, but mm -hmm. in the whole grand scheme of things, like we, it's, we get it. We understand. Yeah. 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 For sure. You know, it's one thing to be the child of a first responder or the spouse of a first responder, but being a parent myself, mm. that's a whole nother level of difficulty of being a parent mm -hmm. of a first responder. Yeah, I could it never is. imagine. It For is. sure, I could never imagine. So how did Get Behind the Badge start? <laughs> Are you well, here crying? I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 well, you know, it's emotional. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I love it. That's that's why we're here to do this show. To, right. to, to People realize that mm -hmm. just because you put on a uniform, you wear a badge, or you, you're providing a service to people, you're still a human. Right. Yes. And it's okay to yes. be emotional. And keep yes. in mind, this is all volunteer work. 100%. Yeah, I mean, they don't get paid. It's 100%. all volunteer. Clearly huge hearts. I help water the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, in, in what, the 2000, my, 2001. My, 2001, unfortunately, Whitehall had a tragedy. Terry McDowell mm -hmm. was, was killed in the line of duty. And uh, another officer, uh, my mind is totally Eric right. Brown. Eric, he uh, was injured. And shortly after that is when Get Behind the Badge was formed. And uh, it's been going ever since. And we've just recently, the past board members, for the most part, pretty much have stepped aside. Uh, I mean, it, I think it just, you know, took a toll on them. Mm -hmm. it, it would. You know. Emotionally, physically, yeah. it, it yeah. would take a toll on every anybody so. who is offering to put themselves in oh, that absolutely. position. So we, as spouses, are very grateful for yes. you and the work that you guys are doing. Not nearly as much as we are for you. And I always try to make sure I tell the spouses, thank you. And I, everybody always says, thank you for your service. They don't realize the spouses. You know, it's your service, too. Mm -hmm. and, it, it, and sacrifice. And, it, and, sacrifice. Yeah. and, sacri yeah. and if it wasn't for you guys... Be it, a, be it a husband or, or a wife of, of a first responder. Uh, that first responder would, would, wouldn't be able to make it, I don't think. Aw. Well, that's why you've been married for how long? Uh, <laughs> forever. <laughs> 40, 42 years. Yeah, that's, that's why he's been married. Glorious yes. years, yeah. in case his <laughs> spouse is watching. They've been beautifully <laughs> wonderful years. No, that's awesome. There's only been one woman in my entire life. Aw. <laughs> so well, now, now he's kind of laying on yeah. a little thick. Yeah, yeah now. He's a little deep. Man. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go get some boots, borrow some boots <laughs> in, in the shop. Right. So you, you shared with us that you have children that are first responders. Yes. It, it, anything besides that that is your motivation? motivation for doing this? Any personal experiences that you've had? What motivates you to to want to reach out and help? I just I just like to be giving. Mm -hmm. I like to give back, you know, and, and these these I, I'm I'm from in the uh, 70s era where, you know, that's another whole story where, you know, the Vietnam era and mm -hmm. what went on back then. Uh, this this armband that I wear, uh, Eric Desario was was killed mm -hmm. in line of duty and, and I, I sort of mm -hmm. knew Eric he he he, ra he was across the street from my son so I talked to the man and to be actually be able to say you know last week I was talking to this guy out front of his house and today he's gone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know he didn't go to work he didn't go to work saying you know I'm not going to come home today and his wife you know didn't think that mm -hmm. right and that was kind of my catalyst that's when I went you know this this like needs I do to, to help. be there yeah. and mm -hmm. what can I do. Mm -hmm. Wow. And as a civilian, you know, non-LEO type person or first responder person, other than the fact I have children, mm -hmm. what else can I do? Now, what about the community? Like, what, if you had to ask the community, what can we do as a community to come together to help out, maybe help with fundraiser? I mean, what can we do? We'd honestly, right now, we would love to have more volunteers. <laughs> it, not necessarily on the actual Please. board, more of a volunteer, like, we are running these benefits and I feel like I feel like since January we've just been turning and burning. Now, can and you sign up for that on your Facebook? They can either go to the website. There's a volunteer form on the website. Oh, okay. Um, or they can reach out to one of our board members. One of our board members would absolutely get back to them. Um, our phones are always on. <laughs> They're always ringing. Um, so, which doesn't bother any of us. No. We we have a very good tight board right now. We communicate, I think, pretty much every day, even if it's in a text message or a phone call. Um, <laughs> butch, butch is why. Nine o'clock every <laughs> night, my wife's phone rings, and it's Stacy, my new adopted daughter. <laughs> it's, it's the nine o'clock routine. That's yes. what we yeah. call it. I think that's what she said and, last and night. And it's, it's nine not, o'clock. Yeah, and it's not even like, hey, it's nine o'clock, let me call Sue. It's literally <laughs> like you're thinking of something. Yeah. Let me get it across because it's like, you know, Yes, our board, it's a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. It's all volunteer. Our board takes vacation. We work full-time jobs. Like, we're, on, we're constantly on the go. So, for instance, this weekend at Fenders at Polaris, 
It's the Mojo versus um, Get Behind the Badge. It's literally just a fun fundraiser. We teamed up with vendors um, just to raise money for Get Behind the Badge. And it's a Jeep club that came to us that met us. We did the survival flight fundraiser in April when the three people got Phenomenal. killed. Yeah. Phenomenal. Fundraiser. And absolutely, hands down, and it, like it brought tears to my eyes at the end of that night to see how many people sh- packed fenders. And mm-hmm. Jerome at Fenders has been absolute 100% support law enforcement or first responders. Mm-hmm. And, and that's this Saturday? That's Sunday from 1 to 4 at Fenders. It's literally just a meet and greet, have fun. We're running a 50-50. Is and that on uh, Sankus, Sankus and yes. Lizelle? Yes. Okay, I know what you're talking about. I'll tell you what, you can put me down to come and help on Sunday. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> Get it in writing. <laughs> so it's like we have that, and then the following weekend we have the Terry McDowell Poker mm-hmm. Run. Obviously, that's an all-day event pretty much. We start at 9 at Does Roosters. Does that still start at Roosters and Whitehall? Yes. Yeah. There's a backstory to that, and I actually sat with Seth McDowell, and obviously Seth and I are friends, and... No, Seth I, is Terry's son. Ter- Terry's son. Okay. And I never knew why the poker run always started at Roosters. I'm like, why? And he's like, because my dad works special duty at Roosters. And that was his go-to. And that's mm. where that's why the poker run has always started. Doesn't care where it ends, but that's where it's going to start. Mm-hmm. So. Well, and, and this year it's kind of special, too, because it actually falls on the uh, end of watch day. Oh, wow. Oh. And, that's uh, a and that's it, emotional. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and what we're gonna what the, what we decided this year was it's gonna you know it's it's end of watch day. We we go from uh, roosters to the cemetery, mm-hmm. and then we're actually gonna end up in up in Union County at uh, Benny's. Yes. Benny's Pizza. Mm-hmm. And that so happens to be where Seth is actually a deputy up in Union County. So wow. We oh, just how nice. We just figure that kind of tied it together. What mm. a way to honor that family. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Now, what happens if you don't have a bike, like a motorcycle? Jeep. Wait. Got a jeep. You got a Jeep or jump jeep? in one of our no. cars. <laughs> hey, listen, we're not turning anybody yeah. down. Right? If you want to, if you want to pull up in a truck, I, we're, we're taking. I've never even been to a poker run. My, my, my pickup truck will be at the back of it with a couple flags, and I'll have you know people can jump in the back. We can get in the back. Truck, so. <laughs> he will be providing helmets. <laughs> <laughs> and that's well, not. No, she's going to be. She's help now. So we'll, we'll get her For sure, that's not this weekend. That's the following weekend. Um, yeah. August twenty fourth. August twenty fourth. Now, do you guys still go? Is it uh, Mayflower? No, it's um, Little Flower. Little Flower. Yes, because we go from Roosters to Little Flower and then to the cemetery because the citizens of Whitehall actually put a memorial together for Terry. Mm -hmm. So we passed that, and they actually placed a new stone there this year. Wow. Nice. There's a a flag, if I can remember. There's a flag, yes. There's a flag. flag. There's actually a new headstone, or I guess stone. I don't want you to call it a headstone, but it's actually got a picture of Terry. Wow. Very Which nice. is citizens of Whitehall cool. just decided to. Yes. Yeah. So if you're That's out awesome. there watching and you want to get involved in the organization or you want to register mm-hmm. for any of their fundraising events to help out local first responders, you can go to getbehindthebadge.org. Yeah, dot org. org. <laughs> Stressing that. <laughs> O-R-G. Yes, yes. Or, or they can go to our, web, our Facebook page. Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. So, so does it all get behind the badge? <laughs> yes. yes. Just at <laughs> get behind the badge at Twitter. Yes. I mean, I don't know how to do the handler handles <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah, we're, listen we're, i it, crazy i'm still learning how to run twitter but instagram and facebook i got it down yeah <laughs> like, the twitter ordeal. it's not as easy as people would think right I listen i had <laughs> actually consuming. calls a, a lieutenant for whitehall and i'm like hey how do you run this and he's like stacy you're way younger than me <laughs> <laughs> i can't figure it out yeah so. and the time consuming and it's yeah, definitely there yes yeah i mean i started off good on facebook for our organization but mm, i slacked so <laughs> not really on it's Jamie. still running strong. Still yeah. running strong. But, uh, Thanks, so we guys. Talk, we talked a little bit about Butch and what his motivation is behind. But what about you, Stacy? Do you have any any stories behind your motivation, or what's what's driving you to volunteer for this wonderful organization? My biggest drive is I grew up in a law enforcement, military, first responders family. My great grandfather always said, "If you're going to treat people with respect, you need to give them back." Like Absolutely. He said, and I've always, my grand, my great-grandfather was one of my biggest role models. And my dad has always supported first responders and always brought up his kids, you know, give back. And I said just a couple years ago, my biggest dream was to join the military. And I never did. And because, you know, life takes you a whole, I've got a great career um, with Chase and, 
the things I might obviously want to do with my life, and I just never did, and I was like, I want to give back. And I have so many friends and so many family members that are first responders, mm -hmm. and it it literally – touches my heart like i like i don't even get emotional right now <laughs> you made fun of bush <laughs> yeah. 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 Do your thing. <laughs> you gotta rouse her a little loud yeah. yeah. so there was a uh, like one with a heart <laughs> 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 so i really wanted to give back and i didn't really know how and then i was getting frustrated because i was like i i have organization skills i can do things and Jesse Hackney with Y Health Police Department was on the board, and he's like, we need Stacy. She knows a lot of people. And I was like, I know too many people. <laughs> but the long story is why I get behind the badge was a very big part of my heart is I remember growing up, and my aunt and uncle lived in Whitehall at the time, and I'd always come out for the summer's visit, and We'd always, like, the kids in the neighborhood, we'd always be riding our bikes, being stupid, okay, <laughs> being kids. And Terry McDowell would literally ride by us and be like, where are you guys going today? And I, there was this little carryout in Whitehall. I don't know if you're Oh, White yeah, White the orange push pops. <laughs> yes. Whitehall Wa Yearling. <laughs> <laughs> Walt's carryout, like, by your uh, Whitehall Yearling. That cigar shop's still there, sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I said, I'm, I was like, I'm going to go get a Juicy. And. Terry would literally throw me like 75 cents and I'm like hot day I'm gonna get three <laughs> yeah. and then I remember I will never forget I was at my aunt's the day that we heard all the sirens and our family members were like Terry McDowell was just killed and I was I was 12 years old wow mm -hmm. and I'll never forget it the most mm -hmm. saddest funeral I've ever been at and it just it broke my heart and from that day forward I've always been Follow my grandfather's footsteps. He retired from Toledo Fire Department and everything. And I was like, I, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. I don't care how much time it takes. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to well, do. Thank you for yeah. absolutely giving back. And, and you mean, look at you. the things that you didn't do and you say, well, I didn't do this and I didn't do that. But look at the path that you're on. This is the path that you're meant to be on. So absolutely. don't look at it as I missed out. Look at how much you're giving back now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you know, we say a lot of times too, like, um, you know, people in law enforcement are actually born to do this job mm -hmm. because not anybody can do it. Absolutely. But the same thing goes for you guys, too. I mean, you were born to, to do this. This is a part of the journey, too. So, I mean, it does take a really special somebody to actually get involved in, mm -hmm. in something like this, too, for and sure. to be selfless. Like yeah. yeah, absolutely. I literally just said pretty much the same thing. Um, two weeks ago, I met with an officer, and I handed him a check from a fundraiser oh. that Shannon was at a few weeks ago and you know you keep your composure like you try to your hardest mm. and I left that police department and I was just like a puddle full of tears on the phone with Sue mm -hmm. our treasure and I was like I don't can't think I can do this yeah. <laughs> it's but tough. it's it's absolutely when they turn around and we'll just say you guys stepped in and was able to help mm -hmm. me it's very appreciated. And it's, it, it's tough, but it's rewarding. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, we do. I, I have to admit, you know, I get a certain sense of, yeah. Fulfillment. I'm, I'm doing something. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. So last week we had a guest on. Her her husband actually was involved in a shooting, and she was just kind of uh, reaching out for support for a spouse. And I remember talking to Spencer about this last week, and he's like, we really don't have anything in place. It's just really hard. Same scenario about having strangers, a mm. strange wife's going knocking on the door like, hey, can we come and talk to you? However listening to her last week have you guys ever thought about branching out to get a actually it's it's funny you say that we we did uh, a couple of the fourth fridays up in westerville mm -hmm. and it's funny how sometimes things just get put in front of you absolutely we, we were we <laughs> were selling we, we were we have a cruise that we're doing in october and we were selling raffle tickets for it and a young person walked by and started talking to us about it. well they it just so happens that they're part of an organization who is trying to do a for first responders, like a PTSD mm -hmm. type program that they can either do online because we all know that, God bless them, our first responders are all A personalities and <laughs> nothing's ever wrong. Their arm fell off, but that, if that's okay, give me a piece of tape and we'll be great. Uh, they would never ask for help. And we're I, w that's something we're kind of trying to do, but we also want to stay focused. Sure. You know, but if we, we, we're trying to work with a couple other organizations that we've been, we've been blessed to come up with. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can kind of direct people that way. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's a it's a unfortunately it's a critical thing out there mm -hmm. that needs no, to happen. Definitely. I mean, as again, you mentioned like you 
I think people forget about the spouses at home or the children at home who still need that counseling, who still need well, guidance. You know, we've just had, unfortunately, here in Central Ohio, we've had a huge rash of unfortunate suicides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it's been amongst some of our first responders, and nobody knows what they go through. Uh, I know I've sat with my two boys in talks, and, and, and my God, it, it's they may as well be in a war zone. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and one of the biggest problems I've always said it with with the with the LEOs is those guys get back in their car by themselves, mm-hmm. and then they got the rest of the night to put up with what they just saw. Mm-hmm. Not taking anything away from it, but on the firefighter side, at least those guys can go back and talk in their group, mm-hmm. and they can decompress a little bit. And you know, somehow we're trying to get it across to some of the. I, I've kind of made it a mission to try to figure out a way to get it across to uh, management, right on the LEO side. That right. you know. These guys, when they're involved in something, they need to be brought back, sat down, talked to us. Just let them decompress. Yeah. Don't mm. just put them back in their cruiser and say, go do your yeah. thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. We have a dispatcher coming on in a couple of weeks, and that's one of our main concerns is do they have a time where they could decompress? Cause they don't. Unfortunately, that's you know, that, 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 Unfortunate. that, that, that I've, I've done some tours up in, in, in the, uh, for, or the dispatcher's offices. And, you know, I sat there and I listened to them handle this thing, mm. and it's, you know, life or death, and mm-hmm. they get done, and go right to the next one yeah and it's there's there it, the, the, the whole leo thing and in a you know, first responder the, the the dispatchers they're all the same they, mm-hmm, they, they all are. need somebody to, to try to get in there and help them out Man. and mm-hmm. i think that's that's important too for police wives or spouses to understand too is like everything that you just said is what they go through so by the time they get home they don't sometimes they just don't want to talk mm-hmm, you right. know or um they think you won't understand well well yeah or just um like they, they just don't want to bring that stuff home. Like they want to leave it there. Mm-hmm. They don't want to bring it home. So then it's hard too for this side of the street to kind of say, hey, like what, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> so I think that that's w- what a lot of police wives struggle mm-hmm. with is, or in their um, relationships or marriages or whatnot, like just the communication piece too. So I know that I mean, when we were talking to um, Chris last week, just about you know, having an outlet for everything that she was going through and she was supporting her husband going through. So it's, you know, that's why we say it's a lifestyle because it's real. It, yeah. It's and a lot of organizations are, are really focused on the actual first responder, not realizing the whole family back uh, home has right. to deal with the whole thing. Right. I feel like there's a real lack of support mm-hmm. for that, for the family unit. Well, that's one of the things I think we try to do. I know yeah. we, we just, we just did the fundraiser for the Reynoldsburg police officers mm-hmm. whose wife, you know, just mm-hmm. suddenly passed away. We did a fundraiser for them because, you know, it, it wasn't just the first responder. There is a family and yeah. there's things that mm-hmm. happen behind the scenes maybe that now is going to affect that first responder. Mm-hmm. So we try to, t- we, that's why we try to encompass the whole sure. family unit. Which is awesome, Good. yeah. Because like you said, it's a unit. You're a family definitely is a unit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you could tell the viewers, like, what would you want them to take about what your organization's about? Um, what would you like to tell them? Go ahead, because if like I start <laughs> talking, <laughs> I <don't laughs> <know. laughs> these guys have already figured it out. Please let Stacy talk. No, for you. no. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, honestly, I would just want everybody to know, all of viewers and things like that. We're not just here for first, like, line of duty deaths. We're here to support you guys, no matter what. If tra- some tragedy happens or anything like that, we're here for the families. We're here. No matter what, even if you have a question, Mm -hmm. like, to help you guys do something, we're going to step in and help. Like, we're not going to say no. Even, like, we're going to figure it out. If we can't figure it out, we have resources to help us Mm -hmm. figure it out. And we're here for all first responders. We're not just singling one person Mm -hmm. out. And what if there's a first responder that has suicide suicide thoughts? Are you guys (laughs) available for them, too, to help lead them in the right direction? We have actually had a couple of board meetings. Um, we've met with a couple of what's I, I'm drawing a blank. I named two. There we have a couple of organizations who have come to us. And the bridge. Is that it? I think that that's is. is it. It. Yes, um, that's one of them that has came to us to d- direct these people that come to us. Like, hey, they're here to help you. We're not here to put them down. We're mm-hmm. here to support them. Not here to judge. No. I mean, we're. Just so people, I don't think people realize this. We're a board of six. Volunteer. That's it. A board of six. We really have no outside. All these all these fundraisers we do, all the events we do. Wow. For all of Central Ohio and surrounding counties. Yes. 
Yes. We're always on the move. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said your phone was always ringing. Now I understand why. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and you know, and we all like to stay set. We all actually have jobs. Yeah. That we have to take care of. Uh, we have families and lives and everything. But first, anything that when something happens, it that becomes our priority. But. You know, that's why we say if we could just have, if, if people, if somebody out there just wants to be willing to say, hey, look, if you need me to, I will mail out the thank you cards to the people who yes. provided, great, here's the list. Yeah. You know, we would love that. We'll give you the letterhead. We'll give you what, you know, and here, just, just stuff and let mm-hmm. stamp and go. Yeah, if so volunteering do with you doesn't have to mean that you're you're giving speeches or no, you're in front of no, people. There's no. a lot of important roles behind the scenes that people can do when they have the time to Absolutely. do to help you out. Absolutely. And they can yeah. sign up again mm-hmm. on your website or your Facebook. Yes. yes. And, like, I, I understand some of these high school um, seniors and juniors have to have volunteer hours. Yep. yep. Like Service we hours. We are <laughs> willing to write you a letter <laughs> saying, hey – this person's volunteered this many hours. Um, it's a good idea. And yeah, and I would I would like to see that because um, I don't want to get too political, <laughs> but nothing's being taught to these kids to respect first responders mm-hmm. anymore. I mean, uh, there again, we can amen to that. We can go back to what just happened last night over and you know in, in, in Pittsburgh mm-hmm. or Philadelphia, where as these guys are laying their life on the line, they're being heckled. So yep. there, there's we, we we need to get our children, and that's another whole topic. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, Hold that's another show. Oprah show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oprah show. <laughs> Have you guys thought about um, what about uh, what is it Fairfield and uh, Eastland Career Centers for like law enforcement? I know they have them there. We, we Maybe reach out to that that class. We have not reached out to them yet. I think that is on our to do list. My nephew's in that um, class, by well the way. If anybody out there ah. listening, yes. yeah, <laughs> that De- is on our to do list. Delaware Area Le- Career Center. Yeah, or okay. if you're a yeah. teacher and that your students <laughs> need hours or need to learn what community involvement or volunteer organizations do or are, please let us know. Yes. Yep. yes. Or even coaches. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yes. Absolutely. Coaches. That's a great one. Yes. Yeah, so tell them again how they can get a hold of you guys. Go ahead. You're, 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 <laughs> the, you're, the, you're the techie. <laughs> at, um, you can either contact us at getbehindthebadge.org or our Facebook page, Instagram page, or email, address. email addresses. Those are on the Facebook page. Like get behind the badge, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So getbehindthebadge.org. Yes. What about email? Get behind the badge. Every it's getbehindthebadge.com. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, wait, that's wait, email. No, uh, no, <laughs> no. Get, wait, what is our I email? No, she's on her G- Facebook. G- she's on her G- 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 It's gmail. Yeah. Gmail.com. Yeah, <laughs> gmail.com. Just, okay. okay. just look on the Facebook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the best thing. Go to well, the yes, okay. because we all have different emails. Mm. So it's ah. like we have a standard get behind the badge email, which Sue, our treasure, absolutely hands down. She is absolutely wonderful because <laughs> we are always throwing stuff Should at her. Should be saying that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, that's good to know. So if there's a female that maybe had some questions or was struggling, even a spouse, like they can go on the, the website and look, oh, Stacy must be a female. Yes. And then maybe reach out to you. Yes. So you guys have separate emails. Yes, we yes. have separate emails. Um, our generic one is for our businesses and stuff that have not, like, contact. That have a special contact person. Yes. Um, a lot of our businesses do have special contact or – spousals are already have because we actually have a widow on our board that a few years ago took money from get behind the badge and now she wants to give back oh that's awesome that's awesome and that's a great resource then yes. too mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so wow. it she anybody can contact us through the website or our generic email and obviously we're, they're either going to have our cell phone numbers so <laughs> some way somehow oh, yeah yeah one last tough question if how many families have you helped year to date do you know this year just throw the whole, out the whole organization. Inception. Uh, I could give you this year probably easier. Sure, give us this what year. We've done three, four, five, six. 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 Wow. Six since the first of the year. It's so dozens, dozens of families overall. Dozens. Oh, yes. Dozens. Yeah. I, I couldn't even begin to think of what the list would be since the inception of this organization. I mean, you can just kind of go back and look at. And fortunately, we haven't had a lot here in Central Ohio, but the line of duty deaths that we've had since 2001, mm-hmm. every one of those in the five county, yeah. six county area, have yeah. been helped by Get Behind the Badge. Well, thank you so much yes. thank you. for thank everything you. that you do. And, and sign me up to volunteer. What about you? That you dedicate. Yeah, okay. anybody. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You writing this down? Thanks, thanks so much for joining us today, yes. too. Yes, for sure. And well, a pleasure. It was a pleasure.
Definitely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your stories and yes. for everything that you do. Well, thank you for what you guys yes. do. Like I said, Very it's, 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 it's the unit that's important. Yes. And Amy, what, how would they get a hold of us? If I you want to reach us, you can reach out to us on our Facebook page, the Blue Line Group Central, the Blue Line <laughs> Group of Ohio Real Estate Services. Um, and then our email is Blue Line Group of Ohio at gmail.com. That's right. That's a whole mouthful. That's right. What are we talking about next week? Um, next week, we're going to do the Q&A session. So we've got a bunch of um, questions. And and if you have questions, comments, concerns, please let us know. Um, usually, you know us when we get to going, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we miss a couple things yeah. and we don't quit talking. <laughs> so please let us know. We, we, will, we promise that we will get to it um, on a different show if not. Or just let us know if you uh, want to talk about it specifically or if you want to come on and be a guest. Yes, Absolutely. we'd love to have you. As a guest, we are live from LEPD Firearm and Range on Bethel Road right here in Columbus, Ohio. And again, thank you guys for joining us. us. It was awesome. And thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we are your Blue Line Group with your Blue Line Wife's Roll Call Podcast. Stay safe, everybody.